Nowadays, when we go to the beach, it's increasingly common to find rubbish, especially plastic, floating on the water. Every year, up to 12 million cubic tons of plastic end up on our coasts. Added together, in line, they could cover the coastal areas of the whole planet. Beyond the 200 nautical miles that surround the coasts of each country, we reach international waters. Thus, it is a challenge that must be faced together by all as a species, with the help of technology. For instance, this system for the cleanup of beaches and docks is based on a partially submerged container with a pump that sucks floating rubbish. Together with the pump, it features a catch bag. Also, several driverless vehicles are being developed, including robots inspired by the whale shark that filter floating plastics. Or aquatic drones powered by solar and wind energy that collect waste from the open sea. However, these solutions are power hungry and comparatively inefficient if we consider the magnitude of the challenge. Just the so called plastic continent in the Pacific covers thousands of square miles. To carry out a large scale cleanup, a new prototype is being tested that, in the future, will use a 60 mile long floating arm. This U shaped technology uses a curtain that becomes deeper towards the center, allowing for the safe passage of sea life and concentrating all the plastic in a single spot. Once the process is completed, a satellite signal is relayed to a rubbish collecting ship. Plastics on the surface, however, are a fraction of the total waste. That's why the best environmental solution is recycling plastic and decreasing its consumption.